Hey, what up, artists and art fans? There you guys are. Thank you guys for tuning to the spot where we talk to all your favorite Instagram artists about the trade tools and tips. Of course, I'm your host, Zim Zimma, and you guys are on Chatting with Zim. This is episode number 70. That's right, the big 7 0. First off, thank you guys for uh, for all the viewers starting to tune in. Notorious Pest, Josh for Kicks. Shout out, guys. Uh, today, on episode number 70, we got a nice special treat. Uh, joining us all the way from Texas. Uh, first heard about this man in uh, Live with Seven. Uh, he came on episode number nine out there. Uh, so definitely, uh, you know, he's a lover of beer. And, of course, cartoons. Who could hate on that, right? You know, we're, today we're going to welcome... The awesome guest, the Oil Texas 245. As we wait for him, I just want to say that make sure you guys are going to Chatting with Zim on YouTube. Make sure you guys are liking, subscribing, please. Uh, also, check out uh, Live with Seven. Uh, and, of course, uh, my boys, Dead and Laughing. If you guys don't know, then now y'all know. And also, we can't forget about RTA, Respect the Artist. Uh, also doing some good, great work out there for the art community. And there we go. Beer and cartoons. Best combo. Damn right. Damn right. And there he, there he is. The man, the myth, the legend. Mr. Oil Texas 254. Let's go ahead and get him on the mothership. Where he at? There he is. And welcome to one blimp. Puck sticker. What's going on? What's good, homie? What's good? Yo, yo. Chilling. Sunday fun day. Oh, Texas. Can you hear me, brother? Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Oh, no. Hopefully, we don't have any technical difficulties. Dial them up. There we go. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Can you hear me? I hear you. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Oh, we got some technical difficulties, it looks like. One, two, one, two. I can hear you. Can you hear me? No, I can't hear you, brother. If anything, uh, disconnect and then uh, add the request and I'll, I'll, I'll beam you in here. So that's him. It sounds like I'm underwater. <laughs> Maybe I am, dude. Maybe I am on the water. You never know, baby. You never know. What about now? No, we cannot hear that. Let me see. There we go. Let's, let's unplug my headset. Yellow, yellow, yellow. What's up? What's up? What's up? You know what? I think I know what's up. Can you hear me? I now. Hello. There we go. There it is. What's Technical good? difficulties on my end. Not much. Oh, yeah. What's popping, bro? Sunday fun day, homie. Uh, got off work yesterday. Come home from my week off from the oil field. And Sunday fun day with the fam. Dang, there you go. Good to know. Good to know. Yes, sir. Appreciate you having me on. Appreciate you having me on. No, nah, man. Appreciate you being on. You know, uh, like I was telling the uh, the audience here, you know, I first saw you on uh, Live with Seven, and uh, you know, just thought you were a dope artist, cool people. You got a great vibe to you. I was like, yeah, man, let's get him on the show sometime. You know? Yeah, I said, fuck it, fuck wearing the mask, fuck it, face reveal. Fuck <laughs> reveal there you go. You guys are getting an exclusive. Yes, sir. Get to see the old fat Mexican. Ah, uh, bro. Two of, that makes two of them. <laughs> two old fat Mexicans. Yes, sir. Speak Spanish? Uh, a little bit. Uh, the town the town I grew up in was mostly uh, all white people. I graduated with a class of 83, and I was the only minority. Oh, shit. Yes, sir. <laughs> nice. Gotta love it. So cool, man. Uh, everybody's good. Family's good. Yes, sir. Uh, awesome. Good to hear. Uh, 
son's been kind of sick, but we've been testing him twice for the coronavirus, and luckily he didn't have it. So, I mean, now it's going good. I mean, with all these kids going back to school and everything, I mean, fuck, anytime anything, they get sick, it pops up, it's automatically they got coronavirus. So, Bro, you can't even fart the wrong way, dude, or else you got corona. I'm telling you. you know what I mean? I'm telling you. Yeah, for sure, man. No, well, I mean, hopefully it's uh, he's okay. That sounds like uh, he's going to make it out alive. You know, nowadays it's uh, allergy season, flu season as well, so. He's got bad allergies, real bad allergies. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, my daughter and my uh, my, my girl as well, uh, they both have super bad allergies, so I feel you, man. I'm right there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Pug says a true minority. <laughs> So cool, man. Um, how do you want me to refer to you as, man? Oil, something else? Oil, the oil. Oh, there it is. So oil, man, take us back, bro. Take us back to the uh, – all the way back to the origins. Um, what got you started with uh, with art or uh, graffiti itself and uh, and eventually leading up to, like, stickers and doing all of this awesome jazz? Well, I mean, Chicano art always had a big, big – play in my wanting to draw I mean I always used to draw you know the clowns and all the Chicano stuff and I just started you know I broke out doing letters and then I was just like well fuck let me do characters and then I love beer and so I said fuck it when I came into graffiti I was just like everybody's got their own style their own character so I need to do something that you know I feel that's me that's my personality so that's why I went with beer bottles and beer cans. And I do milk cartons. And every once in a while, I still draw people. But I just try to make them my style of people. I try to, you know, change them up. I do. I call my, like, my girl character that damn KK because after my daughter. And then I call uh, the boy character I do every once in a while that damn big head because I call my son big head. So, I mean, I try to. I mean, I try to <laughs> I try to put all my characters, you know, from my cans to my bottles to the people characters. I, all their facial expressions are basically the same. I mean, they, they're they just there. I mean, I love cartoons. I always love cartoons, and I just started doing it. I mean, I just wanted something fun for every age. I mean, kids, adults. I mean, I just love cartoons and beer and shit like that so that's how the whole came about nice nice and uh give or take around how old were you when you first started messing with all this art stuff man shit about probably eight or nine drawing them fucking fucked up cars that you used to fucking i always <laughs> want to draw cars and can never draw a fucking car to save my life so oh dude man I, i'm on the same boat dude they them wicked lines dude they get me every oh, time man. Man. I've always tried to draw lowriders and shit like that, but man, I just I I, I can't draw a car to save my life. <laughs> hey, as well. So I'm good. I'm on the same boat. Yeah, I keep practicing, but it ain't getting no better. <laughs> wow, that's funny, man. And uh, you know, I mean, besides uh, besides cartoons and stuff, I mean, what kind of cartoons? Uh, what do you like, man? What's what's one of your favorite cartoons growing up, or even today? Uh, favorite cartoon growing up, probably Scooby-Doo, man. I love Scooby-Doo, fucking He-Man. I had all the He-Man characters back in the day. I mean, uh, nowadays, I don't even know. I didn't even watch a cartoon in a long time with my kids. There's so many bullshit cartoons nowadays with my kids. <laughs> what the hell are they watching? But I, I SpongeBob, I've always been a SpongeBob fan, so SpongeBob's good. Hey. There you go. You threw it down with a SpongeBob piece today. Yes, sir. It's oh, going, yeah. uh, uh, somebody ordered a sticker pack, so you know I always when I somebody orders a sticker pack, I always try to do special special drawings for them. That way, I mean they you know they get what they're paying for. There you go. Nice clean little SpongeBob. Yes, sir. The milk carton, milk carton SpongeBob. You should do one with Patrick in the back. Have you a missing child or something, missing person? Oh, yeah. I was going to do Gary uh, with the oh, there you go. 
as a shell as the beer can. So it's coming. Favorite beer? Coors Light. Coors Light. Shit you won't drink? Uh, probably dark beer. I Man, I can't do that coffee beer, man. I just, I can't do it. That Guinness? I can't. That Guinness, I can't handle it, man. I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> now, who were uh, some of your uh, inspirations or, or who did you, uh, who did you look up? I mean, you, you said you were drawing since like, let's say about eight-ish. You know, it's like, what, what got you into it, man? I mean, like. Really, man. Just seeing, <clears throat> I don't know. Like, I always saw Mr. Cartoon and his art, and then you know, just seeing. You know, we really didn't have internet back then. When we younger. I said, I'm fucking fit to be 39 next week. So there wasn't oh, really no, there wasn't really no internet for us back in the day. So I mean, just seeing, like, I had a friend. His name was Randy Moncrief. All she did was draw fucking like uh uh comic book characters and man he was he was a dope artist. I mean, I don't know mm. whatever happened to that guy. Um uh, ever since, you know, he moved off like in eighth or ninth grade, but man, that dude was talented. So I mean I tried, but back then I was shit. And I mean it's just practice, practice, practice. It's all it is. Every day is practice. Every new sticker is a, a day to practice something new. So but Randy Moncrief, Randy Moncrief was a my local artist that, you know, he was damn good. Cool, man. This is dope. Hopefully, uh, hopefully one day we can find out what happened to him. Hopefully yeah, he's man, I, still living. I would I would love to. I mean, that dude was talented, man. He he made it look like if he drew Spider Man, it looked like fucking a badass Spider Man. I mean, he could draw him to yeah. the T. Dope, dope. Besides, uh, besides Instagram, are you exclusive anywhere else, man? Or uh, I post sometimes on Facebook, but on Facebook it's my real name, so ah, uh, you know how it is when you're putting up stickers in the streets. You don't want too many people to know your your yeah. real name. So, uh, but basically, Instagram. Uh, I got a Snapchat. I post some of my stuff on Snapchat because most of the people on there is people I know. So they're not going to call the cops on me or whatever, so. Cool, cool. Now, under your snap, is it the same handle? It's a uh, oil underscore TX254. And another thing, a uh, good thing you got your name back as well? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, that was dope. That's somebody, good, uh, uh, good recovery. somebody tried to log in again, I think it was Saturday night from Nebraska. So oh, I, had to change, I had to change my password again, man. I don't know. I don't know how they're getting it, but because I mean, I've never gave my password to nobody. So I mean, crazy. No word. And uh, guys, so, so there you go. Well, uh, pretty much instant exclusive. The underscore oil Texas two forty five, and also you guys can find them at oil Texas two fifty. I mean two forty. Wait, 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 wait. Two fifty four. On uh, bigcartel.com. Yes, sir. That's still going? Yes, sir. Custom license plates, custom signs, sticker packs. Uh, pins are sold out right now. Shirts coming soon. Hats coming soon. Uh, but anything, I mean, if anybody wants anything custom, I can do it. Probably not a car, but <laughs> <laughs> I'll, give it, I'll give it my best fucking shot to do it. For anybody, I mean, I'm not gonna turn away nobody. I mean, every little bit of money helps. New supplies, maybe beer for the day, uh, food, food when I'm at work. So I mean, everything helps. Oh, that's dope, man. Any, uh, any, uh, any inspiration uh, here on Instagram or recently? Uh, Question Josh has always been a big inspiration to me. Uh, he's always, anytime I send him a pack, he's always, you know, got on it, sent stuff back. Uh, let me see who else. When I first pretty much started, uh, big artist that, I mean, 
help me out. Uh, let's see. I can't think of nobody. But I'm going to say a lot of people in my crew, I mean, Jaw One, uh, Sive, Eve Peace, uh, Graf Smith, all them people. I mean, they're great artists. Burnt Sloth, they've all, I mean, the LS, LSK crew, Lost Souls crew, I mean, a lot of talented artists in there. I mean, they keep me motivated. They're always working. Uh, so I got to keep up with them because, I mean, a lot of good people in there. Bismo, B Muse, uh, Meow Stickers, uh, Bree, Bree Stowe, good artist. Wow. Shout out. Any, Shout out. Any, any good artist. I mean, there's a lot of uh, Maniac. She goes also goes by Center Stickers. Her digital art is insane. Insane. She is great with an iPad and an iPad pencil. Top notch. Yeah. yeah, definitely, man. I'll definitely uh, check them out. Yeah. Oh, always great seeing uh, just new people. You know, everybody. In, well, at least to me, everybody inspires. Uh, I get inspiration from everyone. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I mean, that, to me, that's my main goal is inspiration from somebody else. I'm not here to, to be better than nobody else. I mean, I'm just here, you know, I want your art to inspire me to try to be better is what I'm going for. A word. Now, let's talk about uh, uh, just some... Uh... The, your your characters uh, a little bit more in depth about them and stuff you know i mean obviously you're a lover of beer so we understand the beer yes sir i mean i you try know. to make them i try to make them happy sad i mean just i mean in every drunk emotion happy sad crazy i mean i guess they're just a part of me i mean I have all those emotions when I get fucked up, so fuck it. I make them. I make them just like me. No word, man. It's a uh, pretty, pretty dope, uh, pretty original character, man. I, I, I see a lot of, you know, a lot of animals. I myself rock a panda. I see a lot of those, but you know, I hardly see people rocking, you know, cans and and uh, you know, milk cans and stuff like that. So that's pretty dope, you know. Yeah, that's. What and I, mean, I also see you do a lot of collaborations. That's what I was shooting for. I mean, I wanted to be where people couldn't say, well, you're, you know, you're copying this guy, you're doing this. And so that's why a lot of the human characters, I stay away from them. I love to do them, but I mean, I, I'd rather do my cans, my bottles, my cartons. I mean, because to me, they're mine. I mean, everybody knows oil as them. I mean, that's, that's my main thing. I mean, that's what I wanted to be known for. A goddamn beer can, beer bottle, carton guy. There you go. And besides merch, man, you know, you have sites from like pins and stuff like that that you got going on. I don't know if you ever seen uh, these little things called Shopkins. They're these little plastic looking things, you know. Uh, little toys, little figures. You know, they don't move or anything. It's like I could see yours being a big line of that. You know what I mean? That would be dope. I mean, so that would be dope. I would like to get, uh, you know, a couple toys, like you're saying, like a toy inspired uh, thing going. I mean, that would be dope. I mean, I'd love to have one for myself. I mean, for my son, I do all my, I do all my art for my kids. I mean, that way, when I'm gone, they have something to remember me by. Like that's what my dad he liked to do. And I mean, I have mm -hmm. art all over for them. I mean, my son's bed's full of stickers. I mean, his walls. I got signs on there, everybody's stickers. I mean, I try to keep him in the in the loop of the art. He loves art too, but he don't, he'd rather play Fortnite or, you know, he'd rather be on the computer. He oh, plays yeah. sports too, but the kids, you know, they're they're all into this technology bullshit. Nice, nice. And as far as um, as far as your art goes, man, you're 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 in the sticker game. Um, have you seen any difference uh, between the sticker game when you first started and now, as far as like the community goes? Man, back in the day, it seemed like everybody was, you know, more willing to help somebody out. Nowadays, 
the people that have, you know, made it, got the 10,000, 20,000 followers, they're not willing to help a small time artist out. I mean, they'll, they will always want to sell you something. I mean, it's basically like, I have to pay for a collab pack to be noticed with a big time artist. Where me, mm. if somebody says, hey, will you collab with me and can you send them back? Yeah, anytime. I mean, I'm here I'm here to help everybody out. I mean, because at one time, you know, we were all getting started too. So, you know, we were trying to, you know, get out there. So anybody that comes to me and they say, hey, I mean, you know, I ain't got the money, but I'm going to send you a pack. Can you send me a, some collabs back? Yeah, I'll help anybody out. And But I don't, like I tell you, I don't consider myself, you know, a big time artist. I consider myself, you know, small time, still learning. Oh, for sure, man. For sure. And I, I, you know, I'm right there in the trenches with you. I think I just got done telling uh, Notorious Pez uh, this last night, you know, I think it was him. And, you know, it's, it's like, I'm no big time either. I'm just here in the trenches with y'all trying to make a name for myself and just pretty much trying to have an outlet, you know, for my art, you know, I'm yeah. not really trying to sell, but if you want to buy, it's definitely for sale. You know what yeah, I mean? It, it, it helps us out. I mean, markers, markers, people think they're cheap, but they're not. I mean, seven, eight bucks for Copec. I mean, Damn near ten dollars for one marker. I mean, I love Copec, but there's a lot better, you know, choices out there for cheaper. Fine colors, cheap. Uh, what else? I've had, I've got some Walmart markers too, some alcohol markers. They're pretty good too. I mean, I'll use whatever Crayola, fucking Bic. I mean, word. But every little bit that we sell, it helps us. I mean, we're not just trying to push it on you that. You know, all buy our stuff, blah blah blah. It helps us. I mean, it helps bring new vinyl stickers. I mean, because I try to put out new vinyl stickers all the time, but shit, that shit gets pricey. And with a family and paying bills, you know, I mean, I don't have extra fifty bucks or extra hundred bucks here and there every time to you know to put something out. Mm -hmm. So anything we sell, it helps us. We're not pushing it on you. We just we need a little help. Now, as far as uh, just trades and sticker packs uh, and the merch that you do sell, um, would you, like, ever take on commissions or do you oh, ever yeah, just I'm, sell you? Okay. I'm down for commissions anytime. Like, I'm working on one right now with a guy. He wants me to do uh, Sam from uh, – what is that scary movie called? It's the one that – he's got, like, the broken lollipop uh, – what is that damn movie? Is that the jigsaw? No. Oh, no. Uh, not it. God damn, what is it? Uh, Trick or Treat mm. is the name of the movie. He wants me to do one of those. He's going to give it to, uh, I guess, one of his friends for a birthday present. And then he also wants, uh, I can't remember what he wants. But we're working on prices now for that. I mean, because he asked me, will I do anything besides the can? I mean, yeah, I'll do whatever. I mean, I'll. I just don't like to do, uh, you know, I mean, I can do all the action characters, all that too, if I want, but I always just try to interpret it with my can. So like I got the beer can heroes with Spider-Man, Iron Man, Deadpool, but you know, it's all the beer can. So, but I can do, I'm pretty sure I, I can do anything, but cars, but cars. <laughs> Let's not forget about that cars, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm, highly you know, gonna, and, and, I'm highly gonna push the no cards. <laughs> and it's funny you're talking about this because you know this is something I've been hearing like all last week of just uh, just hearing other artists and stuff where where it's like we all love to draw and there's things that we could do, but we just don't like doing them. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like like you yourself. You know you you. You don't want to draw cards. You're not going to take on those commissions. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like me, I don't. I could do portraits. I just don't like doing them. You yeah. know what I mean? It's, what's uh? What's uh huh? It's it's time. I mean, a portrait to me, if, if I could do it, man, it it would be badass. But time consuming wise, like how you're saying, I just I just don't want to do it. I mean, 
I get I, my flow gets better when I start drinking, but then there's a point where I start <laughs> yeah, drinking, yeah. and then I forget that I'm over here supposed to be drawing, and I get off in my own world because <laughs> I mean I only got a week off, so I mean I get off in my own world, and it's like oh fuck, I didn't finish the drawing, so I have to push it, you know, farther and farther, and I hate to do that, you know, when people pay money because. You know, there some people. You know, they're thinking, "Well, he's fucking me over. He just took my money. He's not gonna finish this job." So it's just like, damn. That's why I, I hate doing stuff I don't want to do, but I know I can do it. But you know, Word. with the time. Hard. No, I, I I fully hear that, dude. Definitely understand that. Yeah, so, you know, time management is is a big one as well with other yes. artists. You know, uh, especially uh, if you guys go way back and to some of my first interviews, you know, a lot of us have families and uh, you know what I mean? It's art is not our full time. Yeah. So we definitely got to try to manage that time. And then when you, so only, got, you only got a week uh, off with me, I mean, you go. I only got a week to, you know, enjoy my family. And then they got their school. They got my son's got his football games. My daughter's got band. I mean, just trying to. It's it's busy, and then this past hitch, I did 220 hours while I was at work for oh, two yeah. weeks. So wow. I try to I try to do a sticker every day when I'm at work, but sometimes when I come in, I just go to sleep because I mean I'm on call 24 seven for two weeks, so I never know when the phone's gonna ring again and I'm going right back out. Mm. So then you know it's that time consuming with art. It's like should I do this sticker or should I sleep for three or four hours? So mo most of the time I choose, oh, I'm going to sleep because my fat <laughs> likes to sleep. No word. So let, let, let's just say, uh, let's just, you, you, let's say you do take on it. And with everything else going on, work schedule, family schedule, how, how do you actually schedule your time or uh, to focus on specifically your, your craft? Yeah. You know? Man, when I come home, when I come home, usually from let's say eight to three in the morning, from eight p.m. to three a.m. That's my that's my art time. Mm. Because my kids usually on their damn games or YouTube. My wife, she's a gamer too, so she gets on her game. She goes in her own little world back there. So it's just like I put on my YouTube. Sometimes watch graffiti videos, sometimes music, drink my beer, and I just I start creating. I mean, it's the way it is. I mean, I try to barbecue every night when I'm home. I love to barbecue. So the great Ooh, state of wait, Texas, wait. the great state of Texas, you know, we love to barbecue down here. Yeah, wait, what, do you, what do you put on that grill, man? Shit, I got ribs on there right now. I got shrimp, baked potatoes, yeah. corn, uh, leg quarters. Uh, and I made my daughter's steak because my daughter loves steak, so I usually always try to make her one for her. So that's going down yeah. right now. The grill's out there going right now. Man, dude. You know, if Thalo's in the house, if, if I had my private jet with me, then I'd definitely go out there, man. Oh, shit, man. You're welcome anytime, brother, anytime. <laughs> when I get my private jet, let's put it that way. Well, shit, when you get it, you're going to have to come pick me up and take me somewhere, too, goddammit. Fuck yeah, we're, we're doing this. <laughs> Let's get it. Any uh, any other hobbies, man, that, that all you might have besides uh, family and art, man? Anything else? Like, you, you play any instruments? You fucking... Uh, I love... Uh, I used to paint cars. So, I mean, I love custom vehicles. I mean, oh shit, nice. Uh, I've had uh, like five different S10s from the rims to the custom paint to airbags to hydraulics. My first car was a 1963 Impala when I was 15. And I mean, I used to be real big in the low riders. And then I went to mini trucks. And then my last truck was a 4x4 Z71. It had some off-road tires on it, but now I just got a 2018 uh, Chevy that I plan on putting a 4.6 drop on and some 22s on it and do a custom paint job on it. So just the money. Damn, that, we got to get that money. 
first before we can do all that. For sure, man. You have you ever paint uh one of your characters on a car? How about no. that? I need to. I would love to. I even want to yeah, get one of them. I even want to get one of them tattooed on me. I mean, because yeah, to yeah. me, it, they're me. I mean, they're my thing, and they're you know, it's me. It's a part of me. Yeah, man, and it's good shit though, man. Because you know, as an artist, you know, I speak for fan artists. You know, that's what I am. That's what I consider myself. I'm a fan artist. I love fan work. I love fucking superheroes and all this crazy shit. You know what I mean? So that's yeah. what I usually draw. But I think that sometimes we artists do need our original characters. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes. So, your panda. I was looking at some of your pandas, man. They're dope, man. I like. I would get. Oh, thank the, you. I would get the Bruce Lee panda you did. I'd get it tattooed. Oh, up. thanks. That bitch is thanks, dope, man. bro. Thanks, man. The uh, the sister in law took that one. Man, it's dope. I I regret showing it to her, but <laughs> she liked it. I'm like, all right, it's yours, your family, whatever. Let's. Oh yeah. It. There yeah. There's some. There's some like that. Uh, Matia, she's uh. She, she's a real big supporter of mine, so like she sees something and she's like, "Well, I want that." So I, I'm like, "Well, it was for somebody else, but I'm gonna give it to you, just because." I mean, yeah. she's my tia; she supports me, so that's the way. I mean, you gotta hook the family up. No word. Uh, I see. Uh, Pugs, uh, Pugs. I recently did one with Pugs and uh, high-ranking cult member, so I added my my pen in there. I send it off to seven. Um, after seven, man, I don't know, man. I'm I'm pretty sure uh, your your can will look dope on it, man. What do you think about I'm, that, Pug? I'm down. I'm down. Pugs Pugs got some great art too. I I definitely need to collab with him. Uh, seven I, seven ordered some pins, so I'm gonna send him a a couple collabs and everything for him to keep. So maybe he'll send them your way too. I mean, uh, but definitely got to work with you. Definitely, I definitely. Got to get next to the panda. No, oh, for sure. And, uh, you know, we're, we're about that uh, halfway point, so let's go ahead and get into uh, my little segment I call Josh's Tools, named after Josh Queen CRL here on Instagram. Uh, you know, and this is the part where we check out your tools, brother, see what you're working with, see stuff, what you recommend, what you, what you don't recommend. And uh, for everybody else tuning in right now, uh, we still got the giveaway. And uh, we're on episode number 70 with the Oil Texas. I got a little bit of everything. Poscas, uh, Fine Color, uh, Copic. There's one case. I have all my, my alcohol markers basically over here. Uh, what else do I have? Let's see. Uh, Pintar. Pentar markers, they sponsored me, gave me some of these markers. I mean, oh, I they sponsored me, but they sent me a bunch of a bunch of markers to try out. Man, they're they're good for the price. I mean, you can't beat twenty bucks for like thirty markers. I mean, you can't do it. Eight. Uh, these are uh, Hobby Lobby's brand of alcohol markers. Twin tips. I mean, it's cheap. I mean, thirty four ninety nine. I think it's twenty four markers. I mean. I try to, I try to, I just try to be cheap, but some of them, you know, some of the stuff like these fucking Copex, fucking super expensive. Oh, for sure, man. But I that's think, most, uh, that's most of my tools. I mean, Copex, Pentar, Posca, Sharpie, Bic, uh, Fine Color, Windsor Newton, uh, Touch 5. From uh, eBay, I mean, that's that's my arsenal. Yeah, man. Uh, I I think Pugs as well. Once again, shout out to Pugs, man. Uh, he mentioned them earlier when we were talking about some of the art stuff, and he brought up the brand Ohuhu. Now, this is something that I I don't know why they're not sponsoring me yet and shit, you know. But I highly recommend them. I think they are um, pretty much there in par with uh, uh, the Copics. You know, they did a. They I seen a couple of videos. They did some huge little uh, uh, experiment, and the Ohuhu's actually came second, the Copic. So, man, I, I've seen those markers. 
and I've almost brought them off Amazon, but I haven't. But I'm going to get them. But definitely, I recommend them, dude. I recommend them. They they're super cheap, but their quality is fucking amazing, dude. Uh, you need to try uh fine color. Basically, I mean, hold on, where's the camera? They come off of eBay, man. To me, fine they, color. They 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 compete with Copec. And you can get like the, you can get like the, I think it's a 36 set or maybe even more. It's only like 24 something bucks. Okay. And man, they're one of my favorite markers. And Definitely, even, I'll uh, check out that. even the uh, Michaels brand now, the Artist Loft alcohol mm -hmm. markers, man, two ninety nine a marker. I mean, good marker, really good marker. Dope. Yeah, yeah, these uh, these are hoo-hoo's. I ordered the, uh, I think it was the 120 set for 100 bucks. It's uh, not bad. Uh, not bad at all. Brush tip, all. brush tip and chisel tip. Yeah. So about less than 70 cents a marker, man. I'm there all day. Oh, yeah. Great deal. Let's see. What about, uh, how do you challenge yourself, man? Uh, when you're, when you're like, uh, stuck on a piece uh, for, you know? Man, it's just like you got to push through it. You don't want to, but it's just like, man, you got to do it. I mean, sometimes I just sit there and I'm like, fuck, what should I do? And it's just like, fuck, I don't know what should I do. Because, I mean, I don't want every one of my stickers to be the same. But sometimes I feel, you know, they look the same. Like, because I try to do different stuff with the, with the hands. I mean, from a paint can to a paintbrush. So I have to challenge myself to do it like, you know, maybe different, different style of paint can or paintbrush or the angle he's holding it or whatever. So, I mean, sometimes it gets frustrating, but I, you just got to push through it. You got to finish it. Word. K KK, go pull your baked potato off in the corn. Sorry about that, brother. No, you're good. You're good, man. Now, as far as uh, art with markers, man, and um, is there any style that you would uh, want to try? Man, I would, love, I would love to be able to do wild style. I just, every time I've tried it, to me, it just, it doesn't look the way I think it should look. Mm. So to me, I, I use a lot of simple letters, but like basic throw letters. I mean, because it's real easy quick i mean but i would love to do wild style i've had some uh like i have a guy that lives probably 50 miles from me i can't remember his instagram name but he does wild style and he sent me a couple sketches for me to start trying to practice but fuck it's just <laughs> i guess my i guess my mind when i be drinking it's it's just too it's too out there for me to be doing the, all them crazy lines Okay, that's nice. Well, I, I I would love yeah, wild, wild style. Yeah, that that's dope. I don't I don't think I I don't think I do a lot of wild style either. I I used to dabble in it when I was younger. Ah, uh, but man, that that's just bad, right? Badass. Man, there's there's some people that do that shit, man. It's just like God damn. How how oh, did yeah. they do that? How did they do that? What about it as opposed to uh, art style or, or mediums? Is there anything uh, that you would love to try in your career, man, as an artist? Cars. Ah. <laughs> I would love to be able to draw a car perfect one time. A truck, anything, a van, you know, like a VW van. Because to me, a, you know, VW van is it's graffiti. To me, it's a graffiti. I mean, I, I picture a VW van fucking with the oil on the side of it would be fucking dope, Damn. but but I don't know. I just I can't do the fucking lines. I can't do it. The wheels. What about? The wheel, I'll start doing the wheels, and it's just like, man, that don't look like a wheel. <laughs> For me, it's the it's the fenders and the quarter panels, man. That that get me all the time, dude. They got special lines and all in all the fenders. It's just like, man, it just to me it just don't look right. I'm just like son of a bitch. 
Well, what, what about like, uh, as far as like art mediums, I'm talking about more like uh, specifically like watercolor, acrylics. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Have you with oils? I would yeah. love to do, I would love to do watercolor. I think, cool. I think some uh, oil cans with, uh, or beer cans with some uh, watercolor would be dope. Yeah, hell yeah. It definitely, you know what, uh, definitely, definitely brought up my horizon on the art. I'm down for any kind of art. You know what would be dope? I, I don't know if you ever messed with acrylics, but I mean, I'm pretty sure the bean stuff can't, uh, markers and stuff would go over it. But get one of your coarse cans, dude, and paint it like one of your cans. That'll be fucking sick. Yeah, I need to do that. I need to do that. That'll be I've been, dope. I've been thinking about doing spray cans too, because I see a lot of people now, you know, they're doing spray cans, but I just like, I just don't want to do something that, you know, somebody else is doing. So you're right. I've always thought about doing my cans. Like a regular beer can, and then icing on a uh, can. Yeah, a can on a can. Oh, yeah, a yeah. bottle, a bottle on a can. Why not? Fuck it, let's do it. Now, this is something I ask artists. I'm big into heroes and superheroes and stuff like that. But if you had the option to take any ability, what would it be? Now, mm. live forever. Oh man, holy shit. That's a good one too. Like a vampire, never age. Man. Dude, that's a curse. You know, that's a curse within itself sometimes, man. Yeah, it is. It is. But just think of all the parties over all the years you could go to. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Immortality, man. Fuck Immortality. Yeah. God, I love that. Uh, let's see. Now let's talk about uh, the art community within itself, man. Uh, what's uh, one of the things you dislike about the art community, man, if any? Ah, the man just, to me, people just trying to be better than somebody else or just, you know, downgrading somebody else because their art skills not to where they think it should be. I mean, there's a lot of haters out there. They're all, they're, you know, haters make the world go around. Anything, anything mm. you do where it's almost like a competitive situation, there's always going to be a hater. No so word. to me, I mean, uh, why do we need to hate on each other? Just make, make somebody better. Give them a tip, you know, help them out. But that's what I hate in the community. A lot of, a lot of hate, a lot of, no respect for the other person. I mean, my my big thing, my whole life is respect. If I respect you, you respect me. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's every grown man. I mean, mm -hmm. respect is respect is everything. Yep, it's earned, my friends. That that respect is earned. Yeah. Yes, sir. Now I I remember I caught you on uh, on Seven Show and you you uh, were talking about like. Uh, like the ego, you know what I mean? The graffiti world, full of egos, yeah. man. Full of egos. From day, I mean, even before our time, <laughs> even, even before our time, the egos, you know, they, they're they there. They're there. Oh, sure. And me, shit, I'm just here. I'm here to spread my art as far as I can take. It. So if you, somebody sends me something, like I said, get on this, I'll do it. Because I don't got an ego. I mean, what's the point of having an ego? Because to me, it just makes you look bad. I'm not here for I'm not here for forty thousand followers. It'd be nice. Don't get me wrong. We all we all want to achieve, you know, big followers. But I'm not gonna suck somebody's dick, you know, to get the forty thousand <laughs> followers. I mean, no, not at all. My three thousand followers that I almost got, you know, I'm happy with it. I mean, I I can do a piece. And I might get 50 likes. Am I going to stop drawing? No. But, I mean, to me, I feel I should be getting more likes. But, oh, well, if 50 people liked it, I'm going to keep drawing for that 50 people. Word. Well said. What's uh, one of the best uh, art advice that somebody has ever given you, man? Practice, practice, practice. 
more practice. Fuck yeah, dude. You know, and 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 all you viewers, I mean, if you guys are especially followers of uh, Shining with Zen, then then you guys know that that's always one of like the top answers is practice. It sounds cliche, but it's true. You know what I mean? You gotta practice. Every day's practice. I mean, that's the main trait of the of art. We practice to, you know, because what we see is. I could have done this better. I could have done that mm. better. Somebody else might be like, oh, that's a badass piece. But to us, we're seeing it where, oh, I could have done this a little bit better. I could have done that hand, this face. So we're always practicing. So, and uh, oil, it looks like we're down to about 15 minutes left. At this time, let's go ahead and open up the lines uh, to people. If you guys have any uh, questions that you want to ask, and uh, we'll also, let's go ahead and do that giveaway. How about that, man? Yes, sir. And uh, Seven has a question, too. Seven asked, uh, he said, uh, you, since you don't do any cars, what about planes? I've done planes. I'm, I'm not, like, colored planes, but in one of my pieces in the background, I did an all shadow of, of a black plane. So I'm pretty sure I could do a plane. There you go. And this is going to be uh, tonight's giveaway. Uh, we're going with a little anime here this time. Uh, you you in an anime, man? You ever been in an anime? No, nah, I used to watch Dragon Ball Z when I was in high school, but I just, I guess I grew out of it. I just, I, it just don't interest me. I, I'm a horror movie fan. I love horror movies. Oh, for sure, dude. Hell yeah. Well, let's go ahead and get this, and then we'll get into that oil. Uh, on this top is from of, Demon. On, on uh, top of his giveaway, I'll throw in a set of like twenty of my vinyl stickers to whoever wins the giveaway tonight. Oh shit, man! They, that just made it even better. No pressure, guys. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead, uh, ahead and ask a question. First one to answer it uh, definitely gets this, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and type it down here. And uh, this is Bakunji from Demon Slayer. Along with 20 pack, I'm going to ask the question. And uh, first person to get into this answer definitely wins that. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, here we go. I, you said this earlier in the show. So for all you listeners, let's, uh, let's see who was actually listening. First person to answer. And let's go. There we go. And we got another question in. Uh, how do you handle pricing, says uh, Phalo Halo? That's a great question. I just try to do it to where, you know, a custom sign with something on it, I, I range anywhere from 35 to 50 I mean, I'm not trying to get rich. Sticker packs, $10 just because, to me, Four or five stickers for ten dollars plus. You know, I throw in all my vinyl stickers, so I try to be as cheap as possible just to get it out there. But sometimes, you know, I've had my sticker backs up to like fifteen bucks because I didn't want to do them. So I was yeah. like, I set the price high because I knew nobody would buy, but people still brought. So I was just like, well, fuck. So now <laughs> yeah. I have to. I have to make the sticker pack, and it's just like shit. So now I just said, well, fuck it. I'll take the sticker pack down, and they're selling. And it's like, fuck. Now I got to I gotta get the time to do them. But pricing, I, I, now I just, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be cheap and fair to where, say, a kid gets his mom PayPal and needs, wants a sticker pack from all, it's fair enough where he can afford it. There you go. That's tough. Halo Halo says, uh, Lifestyle King, LSK. The Halo, the, uh, the Halo got some dope-ass work. Oh, yeah, he does, definitely. Very uh, big-time artist. Uh -huh. Fucking inspirational. He's, I, I, I guess you could say I could kind of look up to him, too, because he does a lot of of the characters, you know, in his own, in his own way. So to me, that 
that's cool. Yeah, his uh, his lettering is also very well, man. I say this all the time, but uh, you know, his color is phenomenal, dude. You know, he's great, good artist, real, real good artist. All right, anybody, uh, any anybody, what does LSK stand for? Come on, y'all, y'all paying attention in class or what? I don't think they were paying attention. They don't want the um, giveaway tonight. They they don't want it, man. And I, you know, it's it's easy too. It's easy. Oh man, world class cup. I think got came in with that. Yeah, he did. He got it. Lost Souls Crew, man. World class cup. You are the winner. We're sending you this nice little awesome sketch. From Demon Slayers, the Konji. Mm -hmm. so there you go. Please DM me your. Uh... Yeah, damn, there it is. Look at that. Well, I got all different ones. We'll, we'll throw whatever in there for you. From oil. Man, y'all snoozed. Y'all snoozed. There you go. World Class Cup, shout out. Send me your, uh, DM me your address, for favor. DM me your address too, sir, and I will have your stickers sent to you. I even do a custom can or beer can drawing you want. Let me know. There you go. Uh, let's see. Now, you, I mean, you've been saying all all hour, you know, it's its nothing. This is just pretty much an outlet for your artwork, man. But do you have any, any art goals that, that you eventually want to accomplish, man? Ah. Uh, I just I just want to get better. I, that's my art goal. I always mm. strive to get better. Sweet man, not a bad uh, goal to have. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, believe in UFOs? Say it again. Do you believe in UFOs? Ah, uh, my wife said she saw a UFO not too long ago. I don't. I don't. Oh believe. shit! <laughs> what about the paranormal? Oh. I Love paranormal, brother. Love it. Hey. Believe in it. It's out there. We might not be able to see it all the time, but they're walking around all the time, brother. Oh, word, man. I love man, paranormal. Man. I love paranormal shows. Everything. Love it. Word up. I, you know, they have. A, I don't know if you're a podcast listener, but there's a lot of paranormal podcasts out there. Pretty good. Love love podcasts because. When you know I'm at work driving a truck and all that, listen to a lot of podcasts. Love them. I'm murder mystery, all that shit. Love it. Oh yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Let's see. Thalo once again is asking, what kind of rub do you put on your ribs? I put uh, I I use, ask a question. I, I use honey, brown sugar, some cavenders, and butter. Man, dude, making me hungry, dude. Puts that little sweet, sweet touch on them ribs, and there you go. Anything, uh, anything else that you learned? Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, what? Let's talk about your uh, the big cartel, Oil Texas two fifty four dot big cartel dot com. Um, what's something that you learned, man? Uh, managing and selling merch, dude. You know that's a, that's a great perspective. Ah, uh, you just. Basically, you just gotta be when you you when you're trying to sell something, you need to put out a good product. So I always try to put out a good product, and you gotta exact know how to manage your time. Like I said, I mean time is everything. People send you money, there's a time period you know they want it in. So managing time is what I'm trying to do because I have slacked on some orders, but I try to give everybody like their own custom piece like if they want their if i know their name i'll do a custom piece with their name so i want it to be you know it might take me a little bit longer but i need to learn how to manage more time better that's the big business thing to me is time management and everybody you know they want their shit quick oh yeah well they're gonna have to uh hold the hell on because of this damn corona ain't nothing getting out Man, USPS sucking right now with Corona, bro. I mean, fuck. That's why I get tracking on everything. That way, 
If they say they didn't get it, I know where that fucking pack's at because. Yeah. <laughs> Tracking is very important in the sticker game. Trust me. Somebody sent oh, me. Oh yeah. Somebody, somebody sent me. I was supposed to send me three hundred. 2,000 blue tops around Christmas time probably three years ago never made it. What? Didn't Man, have tracking dude. on it. Didn't have tracking on it so no telling where them 300 2,000 blue top stickers are at. Sad day. I almost cried. <laughs> nah, dude. Uh, most memorable commission. I did a uh, uh, two Keystone light cans for a guy in California in the military. It was I did them with the deer horns. I did one orange can, one blue can, it, holding hands. It was for uh, him and his girlfriend. Mm. No faces, no nothing. Just the, it had the Keystone light logo with the mountains, and then the deer horns, and them holding hands. So was one of my favorite pieces because I love Keystone Light too. It's a cheap version okay. of Coors Light. cheap version of course light, so <laughs> Hell yeah. So it was one of my favorite pieces. I'm sure it's down there on my page. It's I'm pretty sure it's like way way back there, but it's there. Let's see. Now back to your horror man, favorite character, favorite horror movie? Michael Myers, Halloween. Michael Myers. Can't go wrong with that, man. Just don't tell Seven that. Love it. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, probably number two. I mean, because it's really not from Texas, but they threw the Texas name on it. So, I mean, you got you got to go for it. Word. Ohio is where it's really from. But the yeah, Ohio uh, Chainsaw Massacre wouldn't have sound good, so that's why they put it as <laughs> Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Like, yeah, nothing happens in Ohio. No. Fuck that. There you go, man. Oil, oh, man. So down to about uh, a couple more minutes, man. Ed. Anything else you, you want to promote? Anything else that I might have missed? No. Like, again, I appreciate you for having me on. Seven for putting me on. I mean, it helps me, you know, people get out there that <laughs> never man. seen my that never seen my art. Come check me out. I mean, I try to strive for the best. I got my, my own original characters. I mean, come check me out. Definitely. And I go ahead and I second that. The Oil Texas 254. Make sure you guys are checking them out. Uh, awesome work. Clean. Great colors. Great characters. Highly recommend you guys go follow. Uh, definitely head over to uh, oiltexas254.bigcartel.com. Make sure you purchase the merch. Definitely anything, support, support. anything helps anything. get new markers. There you go. Got, always got to stay on the grind, man. Any uh, any last words for for the peeps out there? I appreciate everybody that joined the whole time. Listen to my big ass talk. I mean, I just try to keep it real, man. I'm just a real guy, man. I mean, no no sugar coating over here, man. Love I love Texas. I love my state, but. Appreciate everybody. I got peeps from all around the world. Love all the sticker sticker community for sure. Y'all keep me motivated for sure. Word, word. And once That's again, it, man. Once, once again, appreciate you for having me on. And no, man, Oil, thank, thanks again, man, for uh, for everything. Uh, both uh, links are downstairs, are down there on the pinned. Uh, so make sure you guys are hitting that up. I'll take a little snapshot that way y'all could go and uh, follow a little later after the show. And oil man, thanks again, dude. Uh, awesome work, dude. Awesome chat. And like always, man, you're you're always welcome back. Anytime, whenever, brother. Whenever you want. Anytime. Yeah, man, definitely, I'll come back. I'll come back it. anytime, man. I'll keep it one hundred with you for sure. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll do that. We'll do something for the end of the year. How about that? Sounds good, brother. Let me know. Sweet. There it is. And. Thank you very much, brother. I'll hit you up after the show. Yes, sir. Thank you guys yes, for tuning in, and uh, definitely uh, make sure you guys uh, stay tuned for next week. We have Jimmy Jam Boom Bam 
That's right, here on Chatting with Zim, episode number 71. Once again, make sure you guys follow the Oil Texas 254. That's it. We're out.